Happy anniversary to me. <laughs>shooting this video on the one year anniversary of my channel Munson made this so uh, thank you to all of you that have been watching all these videos and subscribing it means a lot uh, if you're new here please subscribe yeah so I have to say that so uh, we've been doing this for a year we're having a great time doing it uh, publishing these recipe videos once a week so yeah again it means a lot that you are still here to watch them with me so today I have a brand new recipe video. I'm not really sure what to call it. I'll find something when I go to upload it, uh, but it's sort of like an enchilada bake based on enchilada Suiza, I guess it's called, which is sort of Swiss enchiladas, which is a really cheesy, creamy bechamel based enchilada. Uh, I'm not sure how authentic it is. My dish is definitely not authentic at all. Uh, and I'm gonna be switching. Uh, I'm going to be switching things up today by using chickpea flour to make pancakes, which are going to be like my tortillas in the bake. We're gonna be using soy curls as our meat. It's gonna be an interesting dish. I hope that it comes out. So uh, stick around and I'll show you how to make this dish that I don't really have a name for yet. The meat in my enchiladas here is going to be soy curls. First thing I need to do is just hydrate them. This is room temperature water. Because I have other things to do, I'm not really worried about it being hot water to hydrate these. So just gonna fill this with water. It's about a cup and a half of soy curls and uh, about three to four cups of water. So cover that, let it hang out. It needs at least 10 minutes to hydrate. So time for the other stuff. Would it be a Munson made this video without the use of the Nutribullet? Of course not. So here in the blender cup, I have a cup and a half of chickpea flour. Now I've been obsessed with chickpea flour lately. So that was part of the inspiration for this dish was wanting to use uh, chickpea flour to make some sort of pancake. So to this cup and a half of chickpea flour, I'm adding one cup of water. Now it's really about the consistency here. Um, we're gonna start out with a cup of water and uh, we'll see if that's enough. To that, I'm adding some nutritional yeast, just a pinch of salt and a bit of black pepper. You could obviously eliminate the salt if you wanted to. These are actually pretty flavorful on their own. So let's get this blending and then I'll check the texture. You could do this without a blender, but I think that the blender really helps to get a lot of the chunks out. Let's blend. Let me scrape down the bottom. So the texture we want here is kind of that of a um, like the egg mixture you would use to make an omelet. We want it to be a little bit thick, but still quite runny. When we put it in the pan, we want it to be able to puddle and to spread a little bit, but we don't want it to kind of spread all over the pan completely. I'll show you when we get over to the stove, but let's blend this up one more time. All right, I think this should be good with a little bit of mess, but as you can see, it's kind of a thick, goopy mixture, but uh, we'll test the texture out completely when we go to cook them. So, all right, it's on to the next part. So my soy curls are in the back hydrating. I've made my chickpea flour mixture, which is going to be the pancakes for the tortillas. Next thing is the cashew based sauce, which is going to be basically the, the body of this, which is gonna give it a really great creamy texture. It's kind of a green chili, creamy sauce. It kind of is like a bechamel, but we're making it with cashews. So back to the magic bullet or the Nutribullet, I have a cup of cashews here. And to that, I'm adding two cups of water. Again, with some nutritional yeast, this just gives it a nice cheesy flavor. Uh, I'm not gonna add any salt right here because one of the main flavor components of this is going to be our better than bouillon. You could use a lower sodium chicken broth powder or lose your measuring spoon like I did. Got it. Um, I've used it with the Edward and Sons um, low sodium bouillon cubes. Those work really well, but 
this better than bouillon stuff has a really nice salty kick to it. So it really carries the dish well. Um, it is high in sodium. So if you are worried about that or watching out for that, then definitely find an alternative. You could just use veggie broth if you wanted as well. So just putting a tablespoon of that in there and we'll taste it in a minute to see if that's enough. Um, all right, last thing here is a weird ingredient, xanthan gum. If you have this, you wanna use about a quarter teaspoon of it. If you don't, ignore what I'm about to do. This just gives it a bit of a nice viscosity, which I would say kind of gives you a bit of the Campbell's cream of chicken soup texture, but uh, it's not necessary. It'll be good without it. But if you have it, use it. I keep losing things. Lid. And we'll add the green chilies in just a minute. And we're going to blend this up until it's creamy and there are no chunks. So I just wanna test it to see if everything is blended well. And I wanna taste it as well to see if it's got enough flavor. Cause this really does have to carry most of the dish here. So you're looking for a consistency of kind of a heavy cream. Looks fairly well blended. I don't see any chunks. Hmm. That's really good. Uh, full of flavor, of course, that better than bouillon just has incredible flavor. Uh, last thing I wanna do here is add a can of diced green chilies. I'm using hot, you can use whatever temperature you would like. And I'm just going to add this in here. I don't wanna add this uh, and blend it up because I wanna keep those chunks. So I'm just gonna kind of stir this around. All right, and this can hang out on the side. Now it's time to cook our chickpea pancakes. We're over here at my stove and in the last shot, I forgot to mention that I did wanna simmer this cashew sauce a bit. So I just have a pan here on kind of medium low heat. And I just wanna bring this up to a simmer to kind of just make sure all the flavors combine and just, it'll help also thicken it up slightly. So I'm just gonna kind of keep this going in the background while I make my pancakes. So that's gonna hang out there. Okay, so here I have a non-stick pan. If you don't trust your pan's non-stickiness, you might wanna use a little bit of oil or cooking spray, but I trust this one. <laughs> Famous last words, right? But I trust this one, so I'm not gonna be using any oil. Uh, I've set it to medium high heat. Now, here I should get about maybe seven or so of these chickpea pancakes, which are going to be our tortillas, and uh, I'm gonna be measuring them out with a quarter cup scoop. So let me just bring this up to heat and then we'll start making them. My pan is up to temperature and I'm going to measure out a quarter cup of our mixture. And that looks perfect. You can see how it puddles while still spreading without going all the way to the edge. And then I'm just going to move the pan around to try to get it as big and as thin as I can without breaking it. You should probably get about six or so inches. So this is gonna hang out here. You'll see a few bubbles start to form. My general rule with these is as soon as you can flip it, as soon as you can safely get a spatula under it to flip it, do so. And then maybe let it cook another 30 to 40 seconds on the other side. See, I'm getting still a little bit of resistance there, so it's not time to flip yet. All right, and here we go. Flip it over, it will be a little bit blonde. Don't worry about the browning. Now, these are such a perfect alternative to tortillas, a corn tortilla. Um, they even make a great chickpea omelet. You can put other vegetables and things in here and use it as kind of a, an omelet. I don't know, it's a good snack, but today we're using them as tortillas in an enchilada bake. So just make sure it's cooked all the way through. Please pardon my hands. I'm just checking the doneness of it. I'd say it probably it may be a 30 seconds to a minute per side. And then when it's done, I'm going to put it into a towel so that it can kind of finish, oops, finish cooking and steaming while we prepare the other ones. I am pouring in the chickpea batter for my last one. Again, pardon my fingers. 
And uh, this just needs to finish cooking. I think I got about seven, I haven't actually counted. The cashew cream mixture I turned off, that came to a light simmer. So that's just kind of hanging out. Once these are done, it moves on to the filling. We're gonna strain our soy curls, add some more flavorings, and then we get to assemble. So yeah, we're like halfway there, I guess, maybe. My tortilla pancake things are all finished, so it's time to assemble the filling. I've already drained my uh, soy curls, but those will come in in just a minute. So I'm adding just about a half cup of onion to a pan here. Again, not worrying about oil, not worrying about it sticking. If you are, go ahead and add that. Uh, I'm adding some mushrooms just because I had a few on hand. So as you can see, this filling recipe here is pretty uh, interchangeable. You can pretty much add anything you want. This is one of the parts that I was struggling with the most as I was trying to write this recipe is what I'm gonna put inside. So uh, if you don't wanna use soy curls, you could use jackfruit. You could use beans, I guess. I would avoid beans actually, because we already have beans in the tortillas, but um, other vegetables of your liking, um, just as long as you have about three to four cups of ingredients in the end for your filling and there's not much moisture in it, you should be good. Let's take care of the soy curls. These are all hydrated and I'm just going to roughly chop these up. You want them to be fairly small pieces. This is a good use for the bottom of the bag soy curls. Soy curls seem to come in like three or four different sizes within one bag. So I actually dug to the bottom of my bag to pick out some of the smaller pieces. So the mushrooms and onions have been cooking for, I don't know, a minute or so. And uh, I'm going to add my soy curls. Um, I'm sure this would be great with any sort of like vegan beef crumbles or even like some Beyond Chicken. It's your world, do what you want. Just gonna toss these around here for a second and begin to season. Now I'm just gonna season these to my taste. I do have all the ingredients uh, in the recipe that'll be linked below. So I'm adding some ancho, chili powder, and then some garlic and onion powder. And just a little bit of salt as well, because the soy curls have no flavor. Obviously, if you cooked the soy curls with a bit of broth, you would want to taste those before you salt them up. All right, last ingredient we're going to be adding is some fresh spinach. Again, use what you have on hand. And I've just kind of roughly chopped this up. You don't want any large pieces, even though it'll cook down. And while that cooks down, I'm going to add tomato paste. It's about a half of a can. And then a half cup of water. Obviously you could use some sort of broth if you wanted to as well. Goal here is just to get everything coated and you want it to be cooked down. You don't want it to be a real saucy thing. You want everything to be kind of sticking together. And this looks like it's pretty much done. As you can see, there's no liquid in the bottom. I don't want things to start to burn. So it's ready to go. I'll meet you back at my island and we will assemble these. It's time to assemble. We just want to add a small layer of the cashew cream sauce onto the bottom. And then we're gonna start with one of our chickpea flour tortillas. Top that with a bit of the filling. And you want probably for this size here, these are like four by four, five by five, I'm not sure. Um, this recipe makes two of these, so. Um, yeah, about, I would say a half cup per layer if you're doing like a nine by five, or with this, it's just about a quarter cup. All right, then we wanna flood this. This is our cream sauce. It's gonna be the cheese of the dish, so you really wanna be generous with this because it's going to concentrate a little bit and just give a really nice creamy texture. We wanna to top it with another one of our tortillas. More of our filling. 
So <laughs> Ben and I are having a bit of a discussion here because when I tested this, I got three layers. For some reason, as I'm doing this today, it's only giving me two layers, which is really strange. So again, flood. I'm gonna go for three, I know I can do it. I don't know, I tried another one before here and it just didn't work. I already have my oven preheated. You're gonna cook these for probably about 20, 25 minutes on 350. And you'll know that it's done when the top is golden brown and things are bubbling. I also, in order to protect my oven, I have a little sheet down under my rack just so if anything does overflow or spill over, it'll catch that. So, all right, I'll meet you over at the oven. Oops. Beautiful. So here we have our green chili chicken enchilada bake made with soy curls and chickpea flour tortillas. That's a long title. I still need to work on it. Uh, comment below if you have a better title for this. So uh, anyways, we're gonna take some glamour shots here and then I'll cut into it and eat it in front of you and it's gonna be amazing. For this one year anniversary special, I decided to bring it back to this table. I used to film all of my outros and taste tests here at this table. So decided to bring it back here and do it again. So let's give this incredible dish a taste. I really think this is a game changer, especially the use of these chickpea flour tortillas slash pancakes. They are incredible in this. They're just kind of like a corn tortilla, but um, I don't know, they have just a better flavor and the texture is really nice in here. And plus, I didn't really talk about it, but this dish is gluten-free, uh, it's oil-free, so it's pretty healthy. I think for that entire pan that I made, which is like a four by four or five by five, it's only about like 500 calories for the entire thing. So you can really indulge in this, but the flavors are strong, the texture is amazing, and I really love that cashew cream sauce, the way that it kind of sets up a little bit, but still stays nice and creamy with that really nice green chili flavor as well. So definitely give this a try. And this dish kind of happened by accident. I got into this really weird rabbit hole of watching keto videos. Uh, it just started to autoplay while I was watching YouTube one day and I wound up on all these keto channels, which is a trip. If you've watched nothing but vegan YouTube for a long time, watching keto YouTube channels is sort of like the upside down. It's like the literal opposite of everything that you ever hear on a vegan channel, um, but structurally very similar. Like there's taste test videos, there's what I eat in a day videos, there's um, and any sort of trope that you have with a vegan YouTube, you have with keto YouTube, but just meat instead of vegetables. It's really strange, but I saw a video on there where a person had made some breakfast enchiladas and they used eggs as the tortillas and I thought, well, I've been using a lot of chickpea flour to make omelets, so maybe I could make chickpea flour omelet tortillas and make a similar breakfast thing and did some tests and things were okay, but uh, they didn't wanna roll properly, so I decided to do it as a bake style. And then I saw another keto channel and this guy made these enchilada suizas, I guess they're called, which are Swiss enchiladas. And I followed the original recipe that he was following his off of, but use the chickpeas. And uh, anyways, this is where we are here with this. And I'm so happy and I'm in love with this dish and it's something you definitely have to try. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you like this type of content, please do subscribe and give this a thumbs up. Also share it, share it around. I'm just a little over 2,500 subs at this point and I would love to grow this channel a lot more just so I can get the word out, share veganism with a lot more people. I go back between healthier videos and more indulgent videos. Um, but in the end, it's all about balance and about living your best life, just not harming others. So 
I'm gonna take this, <laughs> I'm gonna end this video right here, finish eating this. Thank you for watching. And uh, again, thank you for the last year following this channel and watching it and commenting. Uh, comment below if you have any ideas of what you wanna see in the upcoming year. Uh, we considered maybe doing a Q&A video after a year. So if you're interested in a Q&A video, comment below that you'd like to see that as well. Otherwise, I'm gonna finish this. Have a great week. I will see you next week with another recipe video.